Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre comment jouer à la marelle. So today we're going to learn how to play the French version of hopscotch, which is called la marelle. Et la marelle is a great way to practice counting from 1 à 10, so from 1 to 10. So pour jouer à la marelle, il nous faut des craies un caillou et un trottoir. So to play la marelle, we need some crayons, a stone, un caillou et un trottoir and just a bit of ground that we can draw on. And the French version of hopscotch, la marelle, is a little bit different because you move from la terre at the bottom to le ciel at the top. And la terre means the earth, and le ciel means two things. It means the sky, but it also can mean heaven. So you're going from ground up to the sky as you move up through the numbers when you're playing this. La terre, le ciel. So the first thing we have to do is on dessine le jeu. So the first thing we do is we draw the game onto the ground. Et on commence avec la terre. So we'll start with la terre. So I've drawn a nice big round circle and grand circle and I've written la terre in the middle which means the earth. La terre. And la terre will be your starting point when you play the game. Puis on ajoute un. So after la terre we add un, numéro un. And I've written the number and I've added it into the corner as well as a digit. Un. Et après un, we'll draw two boxes, two cases, afterwards, and one with numéro deux, et puis trois. Alors, on a la terre, un, deux, trois. And then another box pour numéro quatre. Et puis numéro cinq. Numéro six. Numéro 7, 8, 9, et 10, numéro 10. And the last thing I've added to mine is I've put a shape at the top of it and I've added in le ciel. And you might be able to see that I've actually drawn in a couple of clouds into this. We'll add a couple of more on here. So a couple of clouds I've added to this le ciel for either sky or heaven. So you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And you'll see that I've done un and then deux and trois together, quatre on its own and then cinq and six together. You can organise this however you like. There are lots of different ways you can do it so you can make this up yourself or copy the way I've done it here. So to start the game we have to jeter le caillou. So we have to throw the stone. So we throw the stone first of all onto la terre. And when you throw the stone you've got to make sure you get it into the box and not on the lines. It has to go into the correct box that you're aiming for. So for your first round you're going to throw it into la terre. For the second round you're going to throw it into numéro 1. For the third round you're going to throw it into numéro 2 and so on. But you have to make sure that you get it into the correct box that you're aiming for or otherwise you miss your goal or have to try again. Uh -oh. So once you've thrown your stone, your caillou, then we're going to saute à cloche-pied. Saute à cloche-pied. And that means to hop, to jump on one foot. And we're going to hop through the squares um, to the top and then back down again. So we're going to hop from la terre to le ciel and back again. And as we hop through the different squares, the different numbers, we'll count them as we go. Alors on compte. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can count them backwards coming back down again. And this is when it's really helpful to have the numbers written on the squares for you as well. 10, 9, 8, 
7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bravo. And when you jump off the marelle at the end, you can shout out fini, which means finished. Fini. So let's look at a quick example of what the game looks like in practice. Six. And don't forget to keep your balance or you have to start all over again. So try and keep your balance all the way through when you're playing. And you can play it with a partner or you can play it on your own as well. So as a competition or just against yourself. And there are lots of different ways we can play La Marelle. It's lots of fun, but we'll look at some more of these next time with numbers that are bigger than 10. Plus que 10. Okay, have fun practicing everyone. Au revoir, à bientôt.